Today we want to address, I guess it's a question, maybe it's a curiosity by many people who see the Holy Coptic Church and may not fully understand what we as a church are all about and, and it's fair to have curiosity, it's a good thing. But curiosity that it is not addressed can become misinformation. If we, if we only remain curious, if we only think about what something could be or what it might be without actually just simply asking the question, then oftentimes what happens is we are led by our assumptions or we are led by our perceptions. And our perceptions and our assumptions are not always or necessarily rooted in reality. And so today, you want to address or ask the question, do, do the Tonus Christians worship the sun? Mm. Do the Tonus Christians worship the sun? This is an important peace because our people have been abused by misinformation for a very long time. And I say it that way because misinformation is, is not it's not harmless. It's not something that is simply um, on a page or something that is just being said mm. or something that you just heard. Misinformation triggers mis, I don't want to say movement, but misaction. Mm -hmm. it, it triggers misthought. It, it triggers a way of life that is not necessarily in line with scripture as we know it, into the original books of the Bible. Misconceptions. This, this idea of us constantly hearing something and then moving off of it. Or hearing something and then becoming inactive. Because oftentimes we think about, well, did I do the right thing or did I do the wrong thing? But many times misinformation causes us to not do anything. And so we will get to a point and time in our existence, in our life, where we will have to recognize and potentially apologize for that which we did not do. And so, there have been a lot of rumors about we as a people, I don't just mean the Holy Coptic Church, I mean indigenous people on the whole. Okay, we have been oppressed by so many different people as our Baba, Dr. Henry Clark says, the African has no friends. Mm. African has no friends. Every group of people have benefited from us. But yet, every group of people allows the African to remain at the bottom of the totem pole. What do I mean by that? I'm not saying that Africa should wait for people to lift it up. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that as a people, we need to recognize how we have been used, how we have been abused, how we continue to fuel a world that ultimately isn't built for us. And as we fuel this world that is not built for us, there are those who will say things like, oh, them people over there just worship the sun. Mm -hmm. True. But we're gonna examine that today because I wanna see if in the Bible that people are holding today that's known as the King James Version of the Bible, or the New International Standard, or the Amplified, or the NIV, or whatever version you may, may be holding. We're going to look at what, what is being said in the Bibles that people are holding today, and, 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 and Christians say they believe in the Bible, and they say that it is the Word of God. So whatever we find in this Bible should be considered the Word of God by those who consider themselves Christians, correct? Correct. Yeah. All right? So, 
we're going to jump right into it. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 84. Because we want to know, do Atonis Christians worship the sun? But before we get to Atonis Christians, I want to examine the scriptures of those who may say to us, Oh, y'all worship the sun. Psalm 84, verse 11. says something that is crucial to what it is we're learning today. It says what? For the Lord, the Lord God is a what? A, a prophet. Shield. Prophet. That's what it says. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm what y'all say. You know, the Lord God is a prophet. Mm -mm -mm. Lord God is a savior. The Lord, the Lord God is fill in the blank. <laughs> but it can't say son. Yes, it did. <laughs> the Lord God is a what? Son. son. A son and what? Shield. shield. On a shield. Mm -hmm. I'm just pausing for a little dramatic pause, you see? Right, right, right. <laughs> yes. As an S O N or a S U N? Well, see, that's what we're going to look at. You see, because. I see you and I have no mind. You know when you yeah. shake up you shake up the snow globe and the snow start flurrying yeah. around. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you let it sit down, and you let it snow settle. Let the mind settle. Yeah. You can see again. <laughs> no? The Lord God. You see the Lord God in Genesis. Mm -mm. Hmm? I don't know but no different Lord gods. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thought this was the same God from the whole Bible. There's only one. Mm -hmm. Only one. Mm -hmm. Huh? For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. Now they spell sun. They spell sun. S-O-N. Yes. Right? You yes. You may. See, I'm, I'm saying it for the people who conveniently don't have a Bible or may not truly have a Bible. But I want you to make sure you highlight Psalm 84, 11. Because it's saying that the Lord God is a sun. A S-U-N sun. The word here for sun is the word Shemesh. Oh. All right. It to be brilliant, the sun. I don't know if we can get any clearer than that. You know, by implication, the east, figuratively, a ray. Mm, that is architecturally a notched battlement. So this this is this is this is more than what is meeting the eye, as they would say. This sun is not talking about, as they would say, the son of God. They say a notched battlement plus the east side or the eastward sun. And they talk about the westward window. And they say also see 1053. Mayif Shemish. The house of the sun. Mm. This sun is a house. Mm. Huh? This is important because they ask us if we worship the sun. Mm -hmm. But let's make sure we clear about what. And you have to know these verses. So when they start mm -hmm. asking you questions, mm -hmm. you have some questions to ask too. Right. Right. You understand? For the Lord God is a sun, and they say, and a shield, H4043. And for those who may be joining us for the first time, whether through a recording or, 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 or otherwise, we are a teaching church. So we have to slow down and look at the words because language is key. 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 In the beginning was the word. word. So this word has to be looked at and not looked at merely as it has been translated because we know the Bible and the Quran, they are not the problem. It is that misinterpretation, mistranslation. You understand? The miseducation. This is why we keep having assumptions, misperceptions, miscalculations. The word for shield is the word Morgan. Hmm. Morgan, a shield that is the small one of or buckler, figuratively a protector, also 
the scaly side of the crocodile, they say. A armed buckler, a defense, a ruler, a scale, a shield. So it's saying the Lord God, and the word here for Lord, H3068, is the word Jehovah. You'll see Jehovah, all right, which is a corruption with, with, with regard to the language. You'll see Jehovah comes out of Yahweh. And we know that the Yahwehans are when when the 24 elders separate, you have those who are agreeable, gods, and you have those who are disagreeable, ways. Yes, and then you may have a head of those Yahwehs, and they would say, This is the Lord. This is the Lord over the Yahwehs. Yes? So the, the word for Lord is Yahweh and the word for God is H40 Elohim. Now this is the same Elohim we see in Genesis chapter 1. Alright? So the Lord God is a sun and a shield. It says the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk up rightly. So he will give. Alright? Nathan, they'll say Right, used with great latitude of application to put, to make, to avenge, to restore, to send. Right, he will give grace. The word grace, chen, graciousness that is kindness, favor, beauty, pleasant, precious, grace and glory. The word chabod, chabod, properly, a prop, it says properly weight. Why are they using that term? Properly weight. Master These scales of my heart, when there's a proper Master weight, it balances out. When it balances out, sorry? Glory, yes. Glory? Okay. So when 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 we see glory, what we're truly seeking is balancement. At one with atonement. You understand? It says, but only figuratively in a good sense, splendor. Well, they say copiousness, glorious, right? But this idea of balancement, glory is not self, uh, what's that big word? Self? Grandizement. Say it again? Grandizement. Grandizement. It's not about you keeping up glory upon yourself. It's about being in line with the divinity within you and allowing that divinity to work through you whereby the glory of the most high. Do I just? just my own horn all the time? My, listen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I can't toot my horn all the time. See, why that's an important question is because as we do the works of the Most High, we will manifest many great wonders. And there will be those who will heap compliments and heap mm -hmm. praise and heap. Yes, they will, they will heap it on you. You have to be wise enough to say, by the grace of the Most High, exactly. all praise to the Most High, Lila and Neri. Right. If you get caught up in that praise mm -hmm. and that right. glory, it was mm -hmm. to be so. It was, so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. 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 Right. Then, then you, it comes to you. You're you in trouble. They yeah. said, yeah. What, what, what come right. before the fall? Pride. 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 You get prideful. Oh, yeah. See, we, we we learn in the Holy Coptic Church that the the praise. And the curses the, 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 the or the yes. criticism they yeah. roll off you like water mm -hmm. off the duck spot. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's what we learn. Yep. That's right. You understand? Because that keeps you Balance. whereby the glory is maintained. Mm -hmm. you know? See? Because once you recognize, and this, this I'm so happy you asked that question because that all of this that we that we're talking about today is leading into the Eucharist. Right. We're not going to get into all of it today, but it's, it's important that we say these things because the Lord God, it didn't say it's symbolically a son, it said it's a son. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible. Now, does that mean we should worship the son? No. Does it mean that we should hold our eyes up and stare at the son and do whatever people think, worship 
<laughs> worshiping the thing is no that's, that's not what we're saying as a matter of fact the word worship is the word worth ship worship. worth ship when you look it up etymologically worth ship and, 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 and the suffix ship speaking about a quality of a, of a thing like a friendship a worth ship that which has worth that which is value does the sun have worth of course it does without the sun yeah. you know we, we might as well just pack it up yeah. <laughs> you can end it on this side. You can end it on this side. Right. So the so the sun has worth. And I'm saying that because these references are, are, are in several places, but we're not gonna look at all of them. But let's go to Malachi chapter four now. 